Hi, everybody. Andrea Carvin here. Welcome, High Achievers, to Inner Sparks Rehab Gym and Spa, where healing is everything but average. And today we're going to be talking about compression with tendonitis. When to, when does it mean to compress? So, again, just a quick review we protect, we rest, we ice. And many people like compression as a way of helping get rid of pain and tendons. And I brought some props with me here because I've raised three children. And for some reason, I haven't thrown out a lot of the stuff that we've used to compress things over the years. So here's my props. <laughs> this is a wrist support, a back support, an ankle support. <laughs> What else do we have in my little bag here? Ah, yes, another wrist support that adds compression. A knee support. Uh, let's see, a compression wrap. Oh, and a thumb support. Um, did I say knee support? And somewhere around here I have some athletic tape in the gym. So there's many different things that you can use and what people do do in order to heal from something that is sore and hurting. So why compression? For some, sometimes, um, when we compress, let's say we have a tendonitis here and we put a little bit of pressure on, we're actually sending some signals back to our brain saying, hey, pay attention to me here. And those are mechano and uh, pressure receptors. And that compression can help put information into the brain and then the brain goes, oh, okay, things are getting better there. The inflammation is going down. But there are more efficient ways at times to send those messages to the brain. So whenever we do decide to compress something, we want to make sure that you're feeling stronger as a result, that your movement is better because joints are meant to move. And if it's creating constriction, if you're feeling weaker as a result, it's a good, it may be a good short-term fix because we never want to wire for pain, but it's a good idea to get in to see somebody and look at what the movement pattern is that you're trying to do because we don't want to create jammed joints and frozen joints. So compression is good as a temporary solution to alleviate pain at times, depending on um, how you feel. If it's not hurting, don't compress. <laughs> if it um, hurts and continues to hurt while you're doing the compression, then you need to rethink that and get in to see a movement specialist. So there's some really good um, times to compress. I personally like taping a lot when I need to help somebody. Um, Coban is another way of compressing. So if you can find a way to use a compression garment and still move a joint, that tends to be um, a preference of mine. But again, depending on if this is an acute injury, you want to make sure that you're working with a professional who can look at your body and not just buy something from Walgreens and then say, oh, compression is really good because it may be and it may not be. It can lead to other um, strain and problems down the road. So that's the scoop on compression. And tomorrow we'll be talking more about exercise. So have yourself a really good day. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye-bye.